Okay, team. Here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First, Alex is running for school president. And the biggest campaign issue is the school sports teams. When I'm elected president, I'm gonna make sure none of the teams are cut. If the election was today, you'd win by a mile. But somebody's out to ruin Alex's campaign with smear flyers. And that's dirty politics. Alex Fernandez thinks of the Mickey Mouse nightlight. What a dirty Ron smear flyer. Then it gets worse. Fried chicken makes Alex cry. How can you vote for such a wimpy guy? Somebody's out to embarrass Alex. Somebody's jealous because it looks like you're going to win the election. I'll bet it's one of the other candidates. But the Ghostwriter team is on the case. We can use the election newsletter pictures to start a case book. Will the mudslinging ruin Alex's campaign? Or can the Ghostwriter team clean up the election? And who is the dirty politician putting up the smear flyers? Could it be Janet Williams? I'm gonna win no matter what it takes. Jeffrey Baxter and his campaign manager, Calvin? We're breaking the rules. That's not safe breaking, Jeffrey. Safe betting. Or Neetu Kapoor? That makes three suspects. Four. And what about the new kid? He's not running for president, but he dropped a note that sounded like he had something to hide. You feel choked with guilt? That makes him a suspect, too. Get a pencil in your casebook out and keep track of the clues, because the Ghostwriter team is on the case. Okay, admit it. It's you, isn't it? You're the one who's hanging up those smear flyers about me. What are you talking about? You know I'm running for president. Look, I just transferred here. I don't care what you guys do about your school politics. Then how do you explain this? Your confession. You admit that you're guilty right here. He felt choked with guilt. How'd you get this? First, you tell me. How'd you get this? If it's not a confession, then what is it? Hey, both of you, chill. Look, just stay out of my way and stay out of my face. Hold it, man. He's not going to tell us anything when he's ticked off like that. Yeah, well, I still think he's guilty. We should add him to our list of suspects. It's unfair what's happening to Alex. I know. I wish I could help him, but he doesn't even want me around. We have to find out who knows your secrets. Yeah, I know. Hi, Tina, Gabby. Hi. Hi, Tina. You could still be any one of the suspects. Oh, come on. You saw that note and how suspicious that guy was acting. All we have to do is find out where he's getting his information from. What's going on? Get away from me, Blabby. Stop calling me Blabby. Why should I? You tell everything you know. Do not. Do too. How else do you think they got another smear flyer? Another one? Another one? Don't try to play me out. You're the only one who knew about my pet chicken that got cooked. Who would you tell? Pet chicken? Nobody, I swear. Yeah, right. I didn't even know about it. Naomi got fried before I was born. Naomi? How'd you know her name if you're so innocent? Abuela told me. Oh, don't try to blame it on Grandma. I'm not. I didn't do it. Ha. Ha, back to you. She didn't. She tells me everything, and I never knew this. See? Lo único que yo veo es tu boca grande. Lo único que yo veo es tu cara estúpida. I'm not the one who's stupid. You're too stupid to believe your own sister. Who you calling stupid, Miss Blabby? Hey, guys. No me llames eso. Gabby. Mira, quédate en tu lado del cuarto, OK? Hey. Alex. Calm down, man. <clears throat> you just got another pen pal letter, Alex, <laughs> from Chantal in Sweden. Mmm, smells nice. <laughs> she always dunks her letters in a bucket of perfume. I'd better open the window. Gabby. Well, she does. The pins on that map stand for girls from all over the world. <laughs> girls who send love letters to stuff up my nose. You get love letters from all over the world? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't listen to her. They're just pen pals. You mean pinheads. Gabriela, leave him alone. He can't help it if he writes such charming letters. <laughs> uh, we got to do something about these smear flyers. Yeah. Those things really stick in people's minds. I wish there was a way to unstick them. We could do that. We need to stick other pictures in their minds. Like posters with pictures of Alex looking really good. But well, we've already got posters. No, I mean videos. A video? Uh-huh, starring Alex. 
I'd have to see if I could check out the equipment from school, but I think it'd be okay. A video for next Wednesday's election assembly, starring me. And you could put in what you plan to do to save the sports teams. The teams? Nobody's gonna care what I think about the teams if they think I'm afraid of the dark and cry at the sight of fried chicken. Well, then how about... I got it! You can take me battling a gigantic chicken, I'll throw it to the ground, beat it to a pulp, and then throw it into the middle of an oozing prehistoric swamp. And I'll stand on the shore tall, and they'll see Alex Fernandez, picture of courage. Yeah, way to go, Alex. What? 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 We don't have a prehistoric swamp, we don't have a gigantic chicken, and we don't have any money. Oh. We have to keep it simple. Okay, okay. So when do we start shooting? We can't start shooting until we make a storyboard. All right. What's a storyboard? You draw pictures of the scenes you're going to put in the video. You need a plan so you know exactly what you're going to shoot. It looks like a comic book. I used to draw cartoons. I could do the pictures. Great. First, we have to show them that I'm not afraid of the dark. Well, I'm afraid of the dark. Like going down into the cellar. What if? What if we showed Alex going down to the cellar to help a little kid who's afraid of the dark? Yeah. He has to take down the trash, and Alex says he'll do it for him. Let's say garbage. Sounds messier. OK, let's try it. What do you call those things that are like cartoons again? Storyboards. We'll figure out the story we want to tell. You do it like this. You draw a picture here of what each scene looks like, and that's called video. And on the line below, you write anything you hear. That's called audio. Like what the people say, right? Right, like words or music or anything you hear. So, what's the first picture? First, let's show Alex bopping down the street. Great! I thought we were gonna show him being brave. We'll get to that. What's he gonna say then? He doesn't say anything yet. He hasn't even met the kid. Hey, where's my face? He just wants to make sure he's handsome. <laughs> it's looking good. Oh, yeah. We should play some hero sounding music so we know he's brave. Brave, brave, Sir Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Now comes the part where I show my stuff. The little kid should ask for help. It's too dark. Aw, oh, poor kid. And what'll I say? How about no sweat? Yeah, and I take the bag. No sweat, kid. I'll take that garbage. All right, Alex. So what's next? The kid's got to thank you. Thanks a lot. That's not strong enough. My hero. We've got the music already. How about you're brave? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Don't laugh. I am brave, really. Now we've got to have a big finish. The music should help there. Right. Whoa! Both runners into it, too. Yeah, fearless. I like that better. Me, too. I knew it would help. Where'd it go, Ghost Rider? We did it! Our first storyboard! Got it all down. Just the way we wanted to. Now we know exactly what we want to shoot. And it's gonna make a slamming video. Ghost Rider team in the house! Right, yeah, Anybody right, here going yeah. to Benny's birthday party? Yeah. yeah. Hey, chocolate cake! Chocolate, chocolate cake! Yeah! <laughs>
This is Fernandez. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know. I know. I'm sorry. All right, right away. I promise. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, that was Mrs. Fernandez. Guys, guys. I'm sorry. It's time to go home. No can do. This is a school night. Come on. Oh, man, we were just getting started. Oh, man, get down, get funky, get out. <laughs> Sorry, we'll do this again. Come on. See you later. Nice Have a nice time. Take lady. care. I'll teach bye. you the slot next time. Okay. Okay. Come on, Max. Take care, Jamal. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. That was so much fun. Thanks, Dad. Hey, fun's my middle name. Uh-huh. That's what you keep telling me anyway. I sure got a lot of great stuff. Well, I've got one more great stuff for you. Save the best for last, huh? That's right. Oh, a book. Thanks, Dad. Honey, this is from your mother. Mommy? When she was sick, before she died, she thought about you all the time, you know that. She was always trying to figure out ways to tell you how much she loved you, even when she wasn't gonna be with us anymore. Harriet the Spy was her favorite book when she was 12. And she wanted you to have it. Oh. When you were 12. I'll look at it later. Okay, Pips. Good thing you're gonna make that video. Cause I do think Jeffrey's gaining on you. Tell me about it. Well, if there are no more smear flyers, then maybe. Ah. Forget about it. Everything's gonna be cool. Alex Fernandez wrote secret love poems to a science teacher? Aw oh, man, Alex, you got. Hey, where are you going? Who was laughing at me? Oh, man. Honey. Harriet the Spy is so cool. Yeah. Who is she anyway? And how can a kid be a spy? That's impossible. Well, she's this real nosy 12-year-old who wants to be a writer. And she can spot a phony in a second. She spends her time spying on neighbors, running down alleys, hiding in corners, and she's writing in notebooks all the time. And yeah, you're right. It is impossible. Real kids don't do things like that, right? Oh, never. I can't understand why your mom would think you would be interested in something so ridiculous. <laughs> Whoa! You got a split. Uh, it's time for rehearsal. Don't you be late for school. I won't. Okay, see you later. Alligator. Why are 
are you lying in the dark? I thought you were making a video with your friends right after school. I had a stomach ache. I left school early. Quando? About one o'clock. Why didn't the school nurse call me in the store? Me fui solo. Alejandro, eso no se hace. You do not leave school without permission. I mean, no one would know where you are. What if something happened? Is this what made your stomach ache? Ya no me importa. ¿Qué me quiere decir? I'm quitting the election. I can't win with the whole school laughing at me. Ve acá, hijo. Siéntate. Do you remember when you were first learning to swim? And that boy was teasing you, telling you that you were going to sink? Remember? You did not let him stop you. By the end of the summer, you could swim better than him. I can't win, Mama. Well, maybe you will, and maybe you won't. But don't let anybody push you out. You're no quitter. And you're very popular with the young ladies. Another pen pal letter. Your mom knew what she was doing after all, huh? Yeah. I miss her so much. I don't want to forget her, Dad, but sometimes remembering makes me feel so sad. Yeah, I know. But reading this book, seeing her pictures and notes, I know she was really into Harriet, you know? Uh-huh. It's almost like talking with Mom. Like being with her. It's great. You think she knew, Dad, that I'd write songs and have adventures? I mean, Harry's from back when Mom was a kid. But she's so totally cool. Do you think Mom could have known that I'd like her? Maybe. Maybe she did. <laughs> What? What smells so incredibly good around here? I made a special French dinner to celebrate the first time you met Mom in Paris. <laughs> Monsieur, the menu consists of all the favorites. <laughs> Le French bread pizza. <laughs> Le French fries. Le French vanilla milkshakes. Fantastique. Sorry about the new smear fire. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Alex, we're getting a message. Wow. Look at all those letters. Cool. No, not another smear. Ghost is reading it from somewhere. I'm gonna copy this down. You are a horrible purse. That must be person. Oh, I can't take another one. Uh-oh, there's more. This one's weirder than the other one. 
And lots of them aren't real words. Yeah, but monster probably means me. Why me? It's not fair. Shh. If I can get all this. Nice guy. Maybe it's not another smear after all. I think whatever it is, it was ripped up. See? The period after guy. That would be the end of a sentence. And only begins with a capital letter. So that would be the beginning of a new sentence. Except we only have a piece of it. Look. I'm copying it. I guess that's it. Did you get it all down? Uh-huh. We have to figure out what we've got here. Yeah, let's see. What are you doing? I'm just gonna try something. Maybe they go together somehow. Hey, look at this. See the knee over here? Put it with the E2 from the last message and you get... Knee 2! And this S goes with sincerely over here. Sincerely! This must be a note from me too. Yeah, and sincerely is a way to end a letter. So those two pieces must be the bottom of a letter. Come on, these, these pieces fit together like some kind of puzzle. I think you were right. Nitu must have ripped up something she was writing. Yeah, let's see where these parts go. Alex is on top. Hey, move your piece over. This is a letter to you. Why would need to write to me? Ta-da! Alex, you are a nice guy. Only a horrible person could do something so terrible. I tore down as many flowers as I could. Do you like monster movies? Maybe you could go to the movies with me one day. Sincerely, need to. She likes you, Alex. And if she likes you, then she's not a suspect. But why'd she rip it up? Maybe she didn't want anybody to see it. I can understand that. I wrote a lot of personal stuff to my pen pals, but they're far away, so it's easier to tell them things. Wait a minute. I never told you about writing love poems to my science teacher, did I? No, you didn't. But I know who I did tell. One of my pen pals. And maybe I told them about the nightlight, too. And Abuela cooking your pet chicken? Yep. I can see myself writing it right now. But which one did I tell? Which one? I've got to stick to this lead. I thought you were quitting. Think again. No one's going to make me quit. OK, Ghost Rider, here's the score. Nitu didn't do it. Because she likes Alex. Jeffrey and Calvin. Are breaking. Some school rule. And then there's Janet.